Hi everybody, this is Jeanette from Booty Quest Sewing and Crafts. Um, I am going to be embroidering the back of some suit jackets. Okay, I have a customer um, and she has a jacket from the Virginia Soccer Association. Okay, and this is the sample that she bought me. It's pretty neat. Um, here they have embroidered this and I always like to see how people embroider uh, certain things. This is a patch and as you can see, it's very, very clear. They did a wonderful job in this embroidery. And so, but this is the old jacket. I noticed that in the new jacket that she wants to get embroidered, they did not do the embroidery patch. They did uh, vinyl uh, and this is vinyl and it looks nice. It does. It looks really, really nice. But of course, you know, um, I'm, I'm more into the embroidery because I feel embroidery lasts a lot longer. But anyway, um, she bought this jacket. This is the new jacket and, um, she wants me to embroider her name on the back of the jacket. Okay. And as you can see, this is the sample and in the sample, she has her name on the back okay so one of the things that she wants to do is she wants me to do put the name like she has on this jacket in the back of this jacket I'm gonna show you guys how I am going to do this okay now first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure because she says she wants it to be the same like this like her sample and I'm gonna measure and see from the neckline up here, which will be up here, how much down do I have to go to put the name, okay? And stuff, and I hope you guys can see that. Nope, you can't. Okay, there you go. And hold on, because Mello has a shoe. Sorry about that, guys. I tell you, that doll's gonna have me walking around barefoot. Okay, so anyway, and just so that you guys can see, here he is, bad, he's after my shoe. Well, anyway, all right, back to the, sh to the uh, jackets, okay? So, this is the sample, and she wants the back of the jacket to have her name on here, just like it's here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a little uh, strip, and I'm gonna measure from the bottom here all the way down. It's four inches, okay? So the, the word, the, the bottom of the name should be four inches down, which means then that going down here is I have to go to the bottom of the neckline and I have to go down four inches. Now, I am going to mark my four inch with my dots. I like these dots, they're a lot better. I don't like using the pens and all that stuff because it marks the clothes and then you can't get them off and it's a pain. So, I like doing the stickers because stickers play it safe. All you have to do is peel it off, okay? Doesn't mess up anything. It's just a little light sticker. Okay, so I'm putting it on both sides, there you go. All right, so this is the four inch mark. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the rest of my stickers, which I know I have somewhere. Great, okay, I'll find them. But um, the rest of the stickers, what I'm gonna do is I am going to pick another color, or better yet, because I can't find them, I'm gonna take a little marker and I'm just gonna do a dot, put a little dot on the sticker, so I know this is the center. There's a dot, there's a dot. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just did a little dot there, so that's gonna be my center point. And then put my marker away. Okay, so I already know this is in the center in the back, four inches down. So I don't need the sample anymore. So I'm just gonna fold up her sample and I'm gonna put it on the side because I don't need to work with that anymore, okay? Now, what I need to do is find out the center of this jacket. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm gonna fold it in half, okay? I'm gonna lay it down, fold it in half, real nice and neat. 
clean it out. And right here is my center port. Where are my little centers? And I am putting this right in the center. Because that way I know this is my center of my jacket. Right there. And then I put it up a little bit higher. Right there. Awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to open it up. And these are my, this is the center of the jacket and this is, this is the four inch mark. So it's got to be centered here and a little up here and it's going to have her name fuller right there. Okay. So now I have my hooping station. Okay. I'm going to use this to hoop that. And what am I going to use for this? It's a little on the thin side. So I'm going to use two sheets of cutaway. Because I want to make sure that it's nice and nice and stable. Okay, so there's a little stretch to this too, but it'll be fine. So I'm gonna put this in here. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. And I'm going to did I put the bottom? Yep, I sure did. Now I'm going to put this in over. I want to make sure this is centered correctly. It is. Yep. It's centered right. Okay, this is my center point, so there we go. All right, so I have I can feel the centers right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little ruler in here. Here's my center line. Here's my other center line. So you can already tell that it's not really in the center. So I got to move this over a little bit. There we go. Yep. Now it's perfect. Yep, see? Yep, perfect. Okay, so it is it is good. Yep, there we go. So now this is good. Exactly how I want it. Make sure this is aligned right. There you go, because it's the back of the jacket. I should try to move it down a little bit more. Because I want it like in the hoop. Okay, this is the top of the hoop. Yep. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm take my hoop. go I'm hooped in this is the bottom of the four inch so I need to have my the name here so I'm thinking what I need to do is lower the rank so that way I can get a little bit better so I'm gonna redo this okay see how it came out so that means I have to make sure that the word is up here it's not enough space so I'm gonna lower this let me rehoop this Okay, sometimes you got to re-hoop several times to make sure you got something correct. Nothing wrong with that. You do what you got to do, right? Because you want your stuff to come out right. You don't want it to come out kind of funky. Yeah, because this is a little bit too, uh, yeah, it needs to be a little higher. Okay, I think I, I know what I need to do. Ooh. Arm is hurting from these hoops. All right, so let me take this out. Put this back in because it is high, but that's all right. I mean, it is what it is. Take a nickel 
garbage cans out here. All right, let me, uh, put this back in. And you know what? Hmm. it's like this and then this is the middle yeah it's not going to be hmm i needed this to go higher but okay hold on and this is the thing too i'm concerned about the center point so i'm gonna iron this jacket in half to see to get a crease i'm gonna iron it to get a crease and then i'll be right back Okay, guys, I ironed the back of this. I'm trying to see what's the easiest way. It looks like this can't go any higher, so I, I just want to make sure. Yep, this is the middle. Yep, the middle is going fine. Um, make sure it's nice and straight, and it is straight. Yep, it's perfect. Trying to. Remember what I say, hooping is important. If you don't properly hoop, then you're not doing too good. It's not gonna come out good. I need it to be four inches down, and I don't know where I put my stuff. I tell you, well, I'm a mess sometimes. Um, okay, I'll just get another thing. I know it's four inches down, okay? So, get a sticker. And this is four, and I'm going down to here, and then four inches. This is four inches right here. Okay, four inches. And that's the center point. Four inches down center point, and once again. It's gonna be very little. I'm gonna have to somehow really like start pushing it down this way. Like, yep, that would be a lot better, more room. Let's see how it kind of trickles. It's kind of not easy. All right, so let me try to open this up a little bit. See if I can fit this through. A little easier, and I think I can. And this is better. Okay. Yeah, and I'll have space this way. Okay, so this looks good. I feel confident now. Okay. There we go. Yep. Got it snug in the middle. Yep. All right. Awesome. This is hooped and ready to get to the machine. And now I'm going to go and design the file. And as you can see, the middle of the jacket, the crease is right in the middle of here. And I just need to make sure that the name is above this right here, which is good. So it should be somewhere in here, about an inch, somewhere like that, fuller. So then it'll be easy and they can come pick it up. Okay, so let's head over to the computer now. And I'm gonna have to try to somehow create that file and stuff. So let me uh, adjust here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you. 
you guys how I do it. All right. Okay. Here I am. Oop. All right. So let's get rid of all these things on the screen. We don't need all that. Oh boy. Okay, let's bring up in brilliance because this is what we need. All right, so let me bring this up. And I need a new page. I need text. There he is. And last name, Fuller. Okay. That's an inch. And I am actually going to measure what this is. I think this is a half an inch that's on here. Yes, it is. This is a half inch. This is not an inch. So I'm going to look for half an inch um, font. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, either a Georgia font or a uh, New York Times. Is it New York Times? No, it's New Times Roman. I always say New York Times. You know, us New Yorkers. All right, here's a Georgia, and this is a half. And this is what a half will look like. Um, not too thrilled with that. Let me see what the other font looks like. This is Times New Roman. Mm, let me uh, retype it and see. Doesn't look, I don't know why, but it just doesn't look even. It looks like the F is up, I mean, this U is up there. I think the U is out of shape and it needs to be, there you go. That looks a lot better. Let me uh, align that. Let's see if they have a utility align at the bottom, center. I think it's fine. There you go. Close. See how this is here? This is at the line. Let me see. Yeah, somehow I just don't like the way that you is looking. Let me see what other fonts I have. Um, I got Merly fonts. These are usually small fonts, the Merly ones. And I probably have one that may be a little close to what, let's see, Air. That looks like a nice one. I kind of like that one. It looks full. Um, let's see. Nope, that's too small. Is this like an inch or half an inch? Let me see. It's about a half an inch almost. Um, let me see that first one that I saw. This one look a little bit better. Like I can make it a little bit bigger. Let me see what this one looks like. This actually looks nice. I do all the Did I spell it right? Let me see. Yeah, that actually looks a little nice. Um, I'm trying to see what other ones. What about the coast? Nope, that looks a little too squished together. Oh, I don't know what that looks like. Um, yeah, where is that other one that I found? The is it the air? Nope, that's too small. Nope, 
Don't like the army. I shouldn't have messed with it. Oh, that's way too small. I think it was the coast. Nope, it was not the coast. Oh boy. The police looks nice, but I think it's a little too big. I think that's about an inch. And I think it is. Yep, it's about an inch. And I don't want it to be an inch. Um, this is the hard part, guys. This is where this is where you go crazy in these things because you're like trying to figure out how you can do that. I think this is too. This is like a whole. This is, yeah, this is more than it, more than an inch. It's way too big. 0.75. Ooh, no, that's an Andy. Nope. The mini block. I think the mini block is fine. Oh, I like the way that looks. I think it looks good. And she wants the color white. So I'm going to change this to a... Uh, brother and I'm gonna use the real white I, I got fluorescent white so I'm gonna use a real like polar white uh, font I'm gonna pick a real nice white one to put on there and I think this one is gonna be really nice f-u-l-l-e-r I think this is it yeah um, should I use that font Looks very different from what they have. Because she's, it's like, this is like a New Times Roman one. Let me see the Georgia. Uh, let me look at the Georgia again. This is really truly the, the most time consuming. Is the font. Oh, you know what? The University is a really nice font, too. Where is that? Where do I have that? Hold on. There it is. This one. Oh, that's way too big. Okay. Let me make sure that I got the right hoop. Yeah, that's way too big. That's not going to happen. Um, this is a point seventy five. That's I don't like the way that font looks either. Um, okay, the Georgia half a font. All right, that's Georgia, and the New York Times Roman. No. I don't know why. I, this you this you looks so out of it, right? It's like what the heck happened to this you? So it's like I feel like I have to and I don't want to mess with it because then if it doesn't come out right, there you go, that looks better. What if I do a stitch count too? Is it thicker? I just don't trust it. I don't trust that because the U. So I don't trust this font. So I'm gonna go over to, and that's the, the Times New Rome, see? I don't trust the font. So I'm gonna go to Georgia. And I'll do half the font of Georgia. And I just feel like this font, I can trust it more. And it looks better. Um, yeah, man, what the heck? It looks so off to you. All right, I should test stitch this. Let me test, I'm gonna test it before I, I put it on the jacket. Because the last thing I wanna do is put it on the jacket and then I find out that the F is all off. That's ridiculous, you know? Ugh. All right, so let me grab 
a USB. I'm putting my USBs in these little pouches that I sold. Even though I have a case, but I'm putting it on there. I'm going to type 4 PS. Um, where is the connection? Okay, this. I'm going to save. I don't know why it's not um, saving on my drive. I don't know why I can't see my drive now. There you go. I'm going to save that on there. Okay. And I'm going to take it over to the machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test stitch um, this file. And I'm going to see how it comes out. Okay. What I ended up doing was I ended up just using the letters that were in the machine. I traced it to make sure it was okay. I forgot to turn on the video, guys, to show you guys how I was doing this, but I'll show you when it's done. It's coming out really nice. Customer's gonna be happy. Because I forgot to show you guys, I mean, you guys saw I was at the computer. I was trying to use the fonts that I had to try to make it for the jacket. It wasn't doing it. I didn't like any of the fonts that I had. But let me show you how I came up with this one, okay? Um, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to show you from the beginning how I did it, okay? So one of the ways that I did it is the Brother Machine already has some fonts that are built in. So I went in here, and if you scroll over, over down, you'll see there's like a whole bunch of them, okay? So what I did was I picked this one. Maybe I should have picked this one now that I look at it because it is a little thicker, okay? And I just spelled the name out. Yeah, that one probably would have been better, but that's okay. I mean, it came out really, really nice anyway, but that's how I did it. And then what I did was I just hit set. And then what you can do also is you can mess around with the size. You can make this smaller if you want, okay, and closer, okay? Um, and then see here they have large, small, okay? You can change the size there too and stuff. But that's how I came up with the name. Okay, and I wasn't, I didn't even have to go into in Brilliance and save it on a file and stick it in or anything like that. If you see, there is no drive here, any, no USB. So that's how I did that. And then once I did that, I hit OK. And then I'm pulling out the jacket now. And as you see, it really is, sorry, it really is a nice font. So let's go over to the table. I'm going to unwrap this here. Yeah, I'll put this here. I'm going to unwrap it, and then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to finish this off. So, of course, I'm going to take this off the hoop. Okay. And I got my hoops. Always, if you have mighty hoops, always make sure that you have, like, you know, where the letters are. Put those together like this. That's how you, you store them. Okay. All right. So... It came out really nice. No puckering or anything. That came out really nice, okay? 
the measurement is about the, the, the correct one. It's supposed to be about like four inches, something like that. Um, yep, and it is. It's about like four. Maybe I, I did a little higher, but it, it looks good. It looks good. Looks nice and clean. Spelling's right. Now I got my cutaway. Now, as you can see, I put two sheets of cutaway because this is kind of stretchy fabric. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this. You should always be careful when you're cutting this too. And I don't know where the scissors are that I usually use to cut this. I don't know where I put them, but I'll use this. Um, I usually have my favorite scissors that I use. Now you always have a pair of scissors for a certain thing. Look at that, and I found my stickers. You always find stuff when, you don't, when you're not looking for them, but that's okay, I'll, I'll use these. So I'm gonna cut around. Now when you cut the cutaway stabilizer, you do not cut near the stitches, okay? Be very careful you don't cut the item. Always cut around it, leave that extra, okay? Um, I really wish I had that other scissor because that other scissor gives it a much cleaner cut. Stuff. Hold on one minute. I think I may have it in the other room. I'm not sure. No, I didn't have it in the other room. That's sad because those are my favorite scissors. Okay, so I know I have them. I just don't know where I placed them. Which kind of sucks because that's exactly the scissors that, oh, nope, that's not it. Oh, there they go. Sorry. Okay, these are the ones. These are my lucky scissors. <laughs> these are the ones that I like using for my cutaway. Okay, so, see, because they're nice and cleaner, see? I don't like using the round for this. There you go. So I just feel it gives it a nice cleaner cut. And I always like to round it off a little bit on the edges. There you go. Done. Okay. This is done. I zip it up. Here we go. And I'm sorry about the video. I know I'm a little off today, but here you go. Nice and neat. She's got her jacket, got her name on the back, just like the other one. So guys, I hope you like this video. Um, first time I'm embroidering the back of a, a jacket and I think it came out really nice. I think she's gonna be really happy with it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you know my channel, please subscribe. I am all about sewing and embroidering and all kinds of different crafts. So you guys have a great night and take care. Bye.